wanted to be James Bond, but I, in cybersecurity world. Well, get your keyboards ready because we are going in for a ride with this one weird trick. You too can become Bond. Cyber Bond. So what's the trick I hear you asking? Well, glad you asked. It's a library I co-wrote called Memflow. It's a library to make direct memory access, or DMA, easy. Given two computers, target and the attacker, it is possible for the attacker to access memory of the target computer without it knowing anything about the access whatsoever. And that is DMA. If you have such access, you too can use this library. Mind you, the memory is always scattered all around the place, and it's very difficult to make sense of it. What Manflow does is it takes all the memory and tries to understand it. It finds windows lurking inside, and then opens access to individual programs. Basically witchcraft. But what are the applications? Well, let's have a look at one. So, what we have here is a Windows virtual machine. Testing on virtual machines is simpler, but the same concept applies on the real ones. Let's say we want to extract the login credentials from this machine. A popular tool for this is called Mimikat. And what you have to do is dump the Windows security subsystem, LSAS, and then run the Mimikat on it, on the file. So I'm just going to demonstrate you real quick. You execute it. Then do execute these commands. And then run the NSV module. And what we have here are the login credentials, the hashes for them. But the issue is that everyone knows that Mimikatz is running. Windows knows it. It tries to prevent it. It tries to delete it. I have to go through hoops to get it running. So what if we want to do it outside Windows? This is where Manflow comes in. What we have to do is run the Manflow daemon, enter the password, and it listens for incoming connections. Then, using the Manflow CLI tool, we just create a new connection for Windows 10. And, sure, and what it did is found all the Windows 10 machine. It parsed memory through direct memory access and and it's working. What we now can do is mount the, the Windows machine on the virtual file system that Memflow command line interface has. So we just cd to Memflow, and we can see processes. What we're interested in is the LSAS process. And sure enough, there is one. You can see on the screen, and it's a 7 to 8. And what we're going to do now is run the Python implementation of Mimikatz, called PyPyCats, on the Minidom file that is generated on the fly by Manflow. And if you give it a moment, sure enough, we have the login credentials. Right here, here's the NT hash. Now, we can crack it, or what we can do instead is just reverse lookup the hash. And sure enough, we have a password, Jeff123. And if we try it, if we try the password, we need to log out. Let's lock the machine. After it's locked, what we do? Jeff123. And sure enough, we're in. Anyways, thank you for watching. In the next video, I'll go into detail on the So yeah, see ya.